We have two good ways to order pages inside of WordPress and order them the way you want them. By default, they're either ordered by the title, which is most often the case. If you click on the title, you can reorder them. It goes alphabetical or reverse alphabetical. Or the date, you can sort them by that. Or comment number, if there's posts with more than zero comments like we have here. Or any other column you have present here, you might be able to sort by that column. But if you want to have a specific sorting order, you have two ways of doing it. One's the easy way, one's the hard way. I'm going to show you the hard way first. So the hard way is without a plugin. This is going to reorder this by title. And we want to know, or we need to know, how many pages we have. So we have six published pages, eight in total. And we also want to know what our ordering needs to be. So you need to plan this out in advance. If you have lots of pages, it's going to be way harder than if you have a few pages. So if you wanted to have About Us to be the first page, go into Edit, under About Us, click on Page Attributes in the bottom, and give this the number 1 or 0. I'm going to give it 0. And I click on Publish or Update, whatever that button happens to say for you. And now the next page we want to have is maybe Services. Let's go to Edit Services. We're going to give this the number 1, because I gave 0 to About. If you gave 0 the number 1, then you give this number 2, you get the idea. And now we want to have, let's see, Terms of Service as the second, or sorry, third one. I'm going to order it, or call it number two, which for me is number three. If you have any experience with programming, you'll understand the starting at zero. If you don't have experience with programming, starting at zero doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's just how it is. And the lower the number, the higher the page will be in this list. And that's why we have to know how many pages we have. I guess we don't have to technically. We can just keep going in here and keep adding the next highest number to the sort order. So right now we have about us, services, contact, and terms of service. And there's error here because contact must be number two. So you have existing pages. These pages that you create, they're auto assigned these values as well. And so that's something you have to fight with when you're ordering these. So these ones I ordered just now, about us, services, terms of service, and contact by entering those numbers in the sort order. And that can be super painful if you have a lot of pages, even if you have a few pages, it's painful. Let's say you make another page a month from now and you want to have that in the fourth position. Well, then you got to change it to number four or number three, depending on which method you choose. And then you have to update every page after that to make sure that they're all lined up again in the right order. And that's just a headache you probably don't want. But that is an option if you don't want to install the plugin. Method number two, which I'm calling the easy method, is using a plugin. If you like this video and you find it helpful, this is a great time to tell me by subscribing and clicking the bell button so you don't miss future videos. And if you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. Now let's get back to it. So let's go to plugins and then add new. And let's look up simple page ordering. This is the plugin we want right up here. Click on install now. If you're installing this on a live site, you might want to back up your site first just in case something goes wrong. It's pretty rare, but if something does go wrong, you want to be able to revert back to your backup. I have a tutorial down below in the description if you need help with your backups. If you don't need help, that's awesome. Just make sure you do a backup first. Click on activate when you're ready to activate the plugin. And now we go to pages. Visually, nothing has changed. We still have the sort order we set manually just a moment ago. But if we hover in an area that doesn't have links, we can click and hold because we see that four-way arrow. We can click, hold, and drag. We can move pages around however we want. And this might actually be updating those page order values for us. Move turns the service to the top. I'm going to click on edit to see if it's changed. And it is. Now it's number one. You can start at zero or number one for those. If I move store to number two, actually first go to edit. Store right now is number eight. Now if I drag and drop it up here, now store is number two. So it's updating the exact same thing. It's just making it way easier to update the exact same thing. The drawback is you now have a plugin installed. The, the bonus is if you're happy with how you've ordered things, you can then go and uninstall the plugin and the order you set will stay the way it is. Now if you want to reorder things in the future, just reinstall the plugin and do it all over again. I'm going to confirm that in just a second. First, I'm going to see if we can order our posts. There's only one here. Let's add another one. And we are not able to order our posts with this plugin, but we can order our pages. So I'm going to uninstall this plugin now. We're going to see if terms of service and store, let's make sample page number two. We're gonna confirm that this is still the order that they're gonna be in when I uninstall the plugin. So let's go to plugins, deactivate, delete, go back to pages. I'm going to control shift refresh or command shift refresh for hard refresh. 
do that a few times, and that order is still there that we set with the plugin. So you can install the plugin, use it, and then uninstall it when you're done and then reinstall it in the future if you need it again. And this video is part of the WordPress skills playlist on my channel. That playlist is all about getting up to speed with WordPress if you're new to WordPress. There's a link to that playlist right up here in that card. Click there to watch the whole playlist or click down here to watch a video that shows you how to create jump links and add them to your menu systems. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.